A barely covered incident happened at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee just two days ago. Columbus, Ohio police officers who were sent to the city to help secure uh, around the Republican National Convention shot and killed a criminal who was attacking a random bystander with a knife. After several lawful commands from police to drop the knife, he did not, and then police opened fire, killing the man and saving another. Now, this released body cam footage has not been released in its entirety yet, but watch here. He's got a knife. Yes, he does. Hey, 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 hey. Stop! 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 Now, the police acted accordingly and followed procedure and did what any cop would have done that day, especially being on heightened alert so close to the RNC just days after the attempted assassination on President Donald Trump. Family of the criminal who was shot, including African-American community leaders in Milwaukee and Wisconsin, as well as activists and residents, are claiming that out-of-state police came and shot an innocent man who is now dead. Watch. Y'all came and shot him down right here with his own people. Someone from a whole nother state to come and do this to someone here. That makes no sense. Now you got somebody who's dead because somebody from out of town have killed him. Say his name! Samuel Sharp! Justice for Samuel Sharp! Samuel Sharp. The homeless veteran from Milwaukee in his 40s was not killed by Milwaukee police but was killed by police from Columbus, Ohio. Folks, it's happening again. Here we go again. George Floyd 2.0 in the process of happening, and the news isn't covering it. They don't want you to know what's happening. They don't want you to be prepared. They don't want you to know that the man was a criminal attempting to murder a stranger. Here is the response from the Milwaukee mayor and Milwaukee police. Take a look. The subject refused these commands and charged at the other individual with the knives. At this time, several officers discharged their firearms, subsequently striking the suspect. This is a situation where somebody's life was in immediate danger. Again, two knives were recovered from this particular situation. Someone's life was in danger. These officers, who are not from this area, took upon themselves to act to save someone's life today. I know that these officers are trained officers, they are trained to police, whether it's in Milwaukee or Columbus. They're trained to recognize a threat. They're trained to stop a threat. And that's what they did. Officers from Columbus, uh, they were doing a briefing uh, before the day's uh, activities here. Um, and while doing that briefing, so not necessarily patrolling, just catching up with each other, um, what happened was they, one of the officers noticed that an individual had not just one knife, but two knives, right? And then proceeded to yell out to that individual to drop the knives, drop the knives, because he was confronting another uh, person on the street. Officers uh, then rushed uh, towards that individual, continuing to say, drop the knife, drop the knife, don't engage, you know, essentially. Uh, and he disobeyed the officer's commands um, and then proceeded to lunge at the individual with two knives. Folks, we all need to understand one thing. Justice has been served as far as we are concerned. A man was shot and killed by police while trying to kill an innocent person, and who knows how many others. Police, uh, if they would have not taken those shots, who knows what would have happened. The left is trying to turn this into another George Floyd. Don't fall for it this time. The man was shot and killed. He was a criminal attempting to cause serious harm or death to another. Plain and simple, cut and dry. What would you have done? The reason we bring you this story is to show you the truth that they're trying to step aside and hide and twist and pervert. We want you to know what's really going on, so subscribe to us here at Conservative Corner Entertainment 2 for updates and notifications.